which is a complete pass through at 56 yards. Now we're gonna go sneak up on him and try and get him again. You can see the antelope over there. What we're doing is we are just waiting for him to get a little farther away, bed down, and uh, then we're gonna sneak up and shoot him again. They hit the one farther back, but complete pass through and blew through him. Um, yeah, there's guts hanging out, there's blood everywhere, so I would assume he's gonna go lay down here pretty quick, and that's where he's playing the waiting game.
Good shot. You smoked him that time. Yep. Sounded solid. Oh, it's a solid hit. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Oh, watch him. If this hunt taught me anything, it's that animals can have an insane will to live. The first shot on this antelope exited just behind his right shoulder, and yet he kept pushing on for nearly one hour. As the first hunt of the season, this served as a reminder that no matter how much you prepare for hunting season, you can always do more, as you never know what the real world is going to throw at you. Closest one is 30 yards. 30? Yep. Use your middle dot. Fifty-four yards. So put your put it put your bottom one about two inches high. Which one are you shooting at? My side. Put your bottom one about two inches above him. Right below him. Where'd you aim that time? Love his back, two inches. Okay. 57, so aim higher than you did last time. Well, you got him in the front leg. <laughs> Obviously, no one ever wants a less than ethical shot, especially hunters, but in real world hunting situations, they sometimes happen. The arrow had passed through both front legs at the knee joint. We then vowed to do everything in our power to put the antelope to bed, sneak up, and get another shot. That proved to be more difficult than we imagined. Finally, after the third attempt to get within bow range of the antelope that we had shot earlier, it all came together. Right on top of the back. Whacked him! Great shot! Good shot, Dad! Maybe. 
consistency is king, and that goes for more than just hunting. Yeah, we could have said, to hell with it, he'll be fine, and hunted another antelope. But that's not us. That's not how we operate. After walking back to the road and waiting for about 15 minutes, my wife and son joined back up with us, and we went to pick up Dad's antelope. Finally! <laughs> Woo! We got him now! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! <laughs> How was that, bud? Good. Let's go pick him up. There's a time to hunt solo and a time to hunt with family. I love the solitude and challenge that hunting alone presents. But to me, antelope hunting is a family event and by far the best adventure for younger kids to join in on. Don't get me wrong, I love taking my son on every hunting adventure possible, and he has been on many of them. But to me, it seems like antelope hunting was made for kids to join in on the hunt. Oh, see, plop down. After walking around for a bit, we finally found Dad's antelope in an unlikely spot. Let's just say it was hidden in plain sight. Helping my dad get his first antelope with a bow was by far my favorite hunt of 2017. It was a team effort, and not only did I get to hunt with my dad, but my wife and son were along with us. That is a recipe for memories to last a lifetime. I pushed the envelope and then the wind slightly changed and then a cow came over <laughs> and so... This cow was booking it. We saw it like way over. We're stalking, waiting, being still quiet. This cow just like, what's up guys? <laughs> right just, to where the antelope were. <laughs> yeah, so the combination of all three of those, <laughs> it didn't work. The cow was like over there beside us. Yeah, yeah, so it is antelope one, Zach zero. Score. Drop the boys off. Get ready to start a stock. Sit down, no move. Buddy, got a 
Tell us what was happening while we were stalking. Why well, did me and I was itching like this? <laughs> So the gnats were just eating the heck out of us. I mean, like flying in our ears and in our nose and everything like that. So long story short, <laughs> Zach, or antelope two, Zach zero. Zach Zero. <laughs> All right, so since I didn't press record, I just shot an antelope. He was all the way down there in that bottom, 72 yards. And then he ran and ran and ran and ran and died over by those bushes. I had it all on film, but I didn't press record. Yay me. So. Guess we'll go find him. <laughs> so we're just walking up on this antelope that I shot. He's nothing huge, but I was excited because I spot and stalked him and got it all on film, except I didn't press record. So there he is. I can't believe I didn't press record. <laughs> For me, this is where it's at when it comes to antelope hunting. I'd rather have my son, wife, and other friends and family along for the adventure than shoot a 90-inch antelope any day. That's exactly what happened on this hunt. I snuck in on an antelope, made the shot, and had everyone along for the ride. Memories like this will last a lifetime. As you can see, we had quite the antelope season. The giant smile on my son's face says it all. Experiences with his family he will cherish forever. I'm grateful for the way each hunt unfolded, the different challenges each one presented, and the videos and pictures to look back on and relive each moment.